On April 20th, 2024, St. Joseph's Indian School hosted a student-centered fashion show to foster collaboration, promote healing, and inspire our students to envision a future filled with possibilities. Taigwe, Darile Kirsty Suerte, Hohom, Hakoma. My name is Kirsty Matos. I'm a house parent here at St. Joseph's Indian School and a house for the Stevens Home 7th and 8th grade girls. I'm really excited for you guys to be here, to be a part of this event. I had the opportunity to meet some amazing designers and some amazing model mentors that I brought to St. Joseph's Indian School for our kids to meet and put on our own show. So thank you guys for being here. It's a lot of work that went into it and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Hi, I'm, I'm Randy and I'm here with Bishop. Hi Bishop, so uh, how long have you been modeling? Uh, probably three years. Yeah, uh, I heard you're a dancer too. Yeah, I was just practicing actually, that's why I look a mess <laughs> right now, but yeah. Alright, so what brings you here today? Uh, I'm here for the St. Jo Joseph Indian School um, fashion show and event that's going on today. Sorry, I'm still <laughs> gibberish, but um, and I'm so excited to be here and happy to be here in this event with the kids and show my talent and share what I know with the kids. Uh, how long have you known Titi? Um, we actually met at New York Fashion Week last September and we became really good friends. We've stayed in contact ever since and when she invited me to this event, I said yes immediately. Oh, well, that's cool. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Hi, my name's uh, Micah, and who am I here with? Hi, my name is Generous, my Lakota name. My name uh, is Christopher Pina. Uh, what are you uh, uh, doing here? So I came to model and teach the students how to walk and what the modeling world is like. Uh, okay, um, what uh, are you modeling for? Uh, so today I might be modeling for Taino Suerte, which is Kirsty Mato's designs. And we also have Jillian Waterman here, and then Rebecca Jarvie has also mailed in a few of her designs as well. Oh, well, uh, that's cool. Are you excited about uh, tonight? Yes, I'm really excited because I have my grandmother in the house, and she's a boarding school alumni. So to have her come and be able to pick up her younger self and to pray in Lakota and speak her language, it's very healing to see. If uh, somebody's looking forward to modeling, how would you uh, like, ex like explain that to them, basically? So what I would do is I would reach out to your local art community because a lot of the art has modeling involved in it and I'm sure that they usually have local runways that you could walk and my advice is to get in touch with local designers and see what type of events they have in fashion because you can be involved in hair, you could do makeup, there's also stagehands and if you don't want to always be the model, you could be the designer, you could be the photographer. So anybody willing to be involved in this world, you know, I would suggest go down to your local art market or, you know, some space like that. All right, that's, uh, thank you for uh, letting me interview you and uh, sharing your time with me. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Yep, you too. So my name is Jillian Waterman. My native name is... Buffalo woman. I am from Michigan. I'm a Saginaw Chippewa enrolled member, but I'm also a um, I'm Potawatomi and Odawa, so I'm all three fires. You never know what you can do, but if you just try, you're 90% ahead of everybody else. I didn't know that I could just be an artist this whole time. I didn't I didn't know what the possibilities were because I constantly was being told you can't make it as an artist. You can't do this and you can't do that. Well, I wouldn't have waited till I was almost 40 to make it. How we talk yapi, chante washte, na pechuzapi, Christy Redbird, machapi, na ha we wila wakba, tamahi. Good morning, relatives. My name is Christy Redbird. I come from the Spring Creek community. I'm the owner of Lakota Agriculture and Designs. The beading and sewing part of what I do um, is just something that um, I never really thought, like when I was younger, never in my wildest dreams would I picture myself here, speaking to a group of people about what I do. Um, and, and to me, it's amazing. But the, the, the goal is to inspire, because I know you guys are our future leaders. You guys are the future. And it's, you guys are gonna do amazing things, amazing. 
I could just see it now. So, but I'm honored to be here and uh, thank you for your time. Hi, uh, here's Randy again. Um, I'm with Touchable and we should go see what they're doing. Oh, that one or that little one? All right, let's go find the girls and see how they're helping out. <laughs> how are you guys helping out? Uh, we're helping cook uh, vegetables and stuff for. Yeah. <laughs> Doing he tells us. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Randy, and I was gonna ask you a few questions. Sure. So, uh, what inspired you to call like open no touch up? Um, I mean, essentially, I cook just to keep the traditions that my grandma's taught me alive. But honestly, I started Wa Touchable just because of the lack of representation of Native American presence in the food space. So we started off as a food truck, um, and I expected it just to be a small food truck. A small food truck, um, but now we're one of the largest manufacturers of Native American food products in the United States. So, oh, that's cool. So, uh, how long has what touch about been open? Um, I've been open for five years now. Oh, five years. So, uh, what inspired you to come down here and like do this work? Thing? Because they ask. <laughs> I show up for the kids, for the people, anytime they ask. Well, that's cool. Uh, hi, my name is Micah, and uh, what, what's your name, and what are you doing? My name is Sophie, and I am grinding up the buffalo meat for the tacos. Well, thank you. Thank you. Follow me. How's everybody doing? My name's Lawrence West. I own the Wad Touchable. I'm from Cherry Creek, Cheyenne River. Um, I've been up since 4 a.m. cooking you guys fry bread. <laughs> no, just really, really proud of you guys. Um, you know, getting involved and having a good time and just enjoy the day. You know, take time to enjoy what you guys are going to be experiencing. I'm grateful for a lot, having the opportunity to come down here and be able to cook for you guys. I'm sorry that I cannot stay, but you guys will enjoy the meal. And uh, again, I'm just grateful to be able to come down and feed you guys and get to see you guys all in action. Proud of all of you. Keep up the good work. And that's all I gotta say. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you. When you spark the interest of our kids, when you can embrace our students, when you can give them insights to things that maybe they weren't aware of before. That's what our mission is about. That's what our hope is about for the future. That's why we're all here. So, it, and it, it's fun, you know, it's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be like chaos, even though there's always chaos. And it's, you know, it's always going to be madness the day of the show. And you know what, there's going to be wardrobe malfunctions. There's going to be days when, you know, things happen. And when things happen, that's when life happens. That's the most beautiful thing about it is because then you get to see the true nature of who you really are like if one of your friends falls you know are you gonna walk past or are you gonna sit there and help them up you know and I'm always the one who's like you know I'll, I'll fall with you and then we'll get up together you know because that's what fashion family is and if one of us falls you know we all pick them up so yes I'm Jillian Waterman you can do anything be anything people let me do it all the time okay let's take a minute to acknowledge our students a lot of creativity wow there's a lot going on that was Really nice to see. I saw lots of smiles, so it was definitely a fun day, one that we're going to definitely repeat here sometime. And then lastly, which is the spark that always makes me think this is going to carry on, is this idea, a lot of curiosity. So those people who came today to share with us their talents, we want to say thank you, because the rule here at St. Joe's is very simple. When you can spark the interest of our kids, when you can embrace our students, when you can give them insights to things that maybe they weren't aware of before, that's what our mission is about, that's what our hope is about for the future, that's why we're all here. So to all the people who came here today that history invited, we want to say thank you and let's have a great fashion show tonight.
when my girls questioned me about fashion, photography, cooking, and all this stuff, well, it was definitely my goal to bring all of that here to them. So I want to thank our designers, Rebecca Jarvie from Montana. I want to thank my friend Jillian Waterman for flying out here from Michigan. Bishop Davis, he flew out from Michigan as well, and he's a professional hoop dancer. I have Christopher Pina, who is an international model, as well as an actor. I want to thank Sabrina Stewart, our photographer, Christopher's sister. She was with us in New York, and she came here to Chamberlain, and I'm so excited to have her teaching the kids about photography. Nika Miller, she's a local from Mitchell. She's the current Miss USA, South Dakota USA ambassador for Mount Rushmore. And I'd like to thank all of everyone here, the staff, my supervisors, Frank and Jenny for being so supportive and working with the school to really bring this to life. It was an idea, it showed interest from the kids, and now we're here getting to enjoy all of their hard work. So thank you so much, and we are delighted to introduce to you the TOHPA Fashion Show. Dream big. Take up as much space as you can. Visiting model mentor Christopher Pina directed this advice to a room full of attentive St. Joseph's Indian School students. While learning about modeling, jewelry design, hair and makeup, photography, and meal preparation, they took the message to heart. The day filled with laughter, learning, good food, and fun will be a favorite memory for many.